Raising fractions. Sometimes fractions need to be raised to higher terms when adding and subtracting. To raise fractions, the numerator and the denominator are multiplied by the same number. Remember, to reduce fractions, divide. To raise fractions, multiply. Example one, let's raise 3 fourths to some number over eight. Well, the thing to ask ourselves is four times what equals eight? And of course we know that would be two. So whatever we multiply by our denominator, we also have to multiply by our numerator. Four times two equals eight. Three times two equals six. So we know that three fourths raised is equal to six over eight. These are equivalent fractions. They're equal to the same amount. The same process. Let's raise three eighths to some number over 64. Now ask yourself, eight times what number is equal to 64? Well, we know it's eight. So what we do to the numerator, let's also do to the denominator. Or in this case, what we do to our denominator, let's also do to our numerator. Three times eight equals 24. So in raising three eighths to some number over 64, we know it is 24 over 64. These again are equivalent fractions. One of the questions you may ask, why do we have to learn about raising fractions? Let me give you a simple problem. I have here on the table two pieces of metal, they're stainless steel, and this piece measures one half of an inch, and the other piece of stainless steel measures five sixteenths of an inch. Now, if I bolted these two together, what would be the thickness of these two pieces? In order to do that, we have to add one half inch plus five sixteenths of an inch. Now, we can't do that like this. We have to have a common denominator. This number and this number needs to be the same. So we have to convert one half inch into sixteenths. And so times eight times eight equals eight sixteenths. Now by having one half inch is equal to eight sixteenths, now we can add the two. Now in this unit we will not be adding fractions, but I just want to give you the reason why you have to learn how to raise fractions. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.